Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about fiat money, what it is and how it works. What is fiat money? Fiat money is a government issued currency that is not backed by a physical commodity such as gold or silver but rather by the government that issued it. The value of fiat money is derived from the relationship between supply and demand and the stability of the issuing government. I rather, uh, rather than the worth of a commodity backing it, most modern paper currencies are fiat currencies, including the US dollar, the euro and other major global currencies. Understanding fiat money. The term fiat is a Latin word that is often translated as it shall be or let it be done. Thus, fiat currencies only have value because the government maintains that value. There is no utility to fiat money in itself. Fiat currencies came about when governments would mint coins out of a valuable physical commodity such as gold or silver or print paper money that could be redeemed for a set amount of a physical commodity. Fiat, however, is inconvertible by and cannot be redeemed simply because there is no underlying commodity backing it. Because fiat money is not linked to physical reserves such as national stockpile of gold or silver, it risks losing value due to inflation or even becoming worthless in the event of hyperinflation. In some of the worst cases of hyperinflation, such as Hungary, immediately after World War II, the rate of inflation can double in a single day. Furthermore, if people lose faith in a nation's currency, the money will no longer hold value. This is much different from a currency backed by gold. For example, it has intrinsic value because of the demand for gold in jewelry and decoration as well as the manufacturing of electric devices and computers and aerospace vehicles. History of fiat money in the US The US dollar is considered to be both fiat money and legal tender, accepted for private and public debts. Legal tender is basically any currency that a government declares to be legal. Many governments issue, issue a fiat currency, then make it legal tender by setting it as the standard for debt payment. Earlier in US history, the country's currency was backed by gold and in some cases silver. The federal government stopped for allowing citizens to exchange currencies for government gold and the passage of the Emergency Banking Act of 1933. The gold standard which backed U.S. currency with federal gold ended completely in 1971 when the U.S. also stopped issuing gold to foreign governments in exchange for U.S. currencies. Advantages and Disadvantages of Fiat Money <coughs> Advantages Fiat money serves as a good currency if it ha can handle the rules that a nation's economy needs of its monetary unit. Storing value, providing a numerical account, and facilitating exchange. It also has excellent signal rate, meaning it is more cost efficient to produce than a currency directly tied to a commodity. Fiat currencies gained prominence in the 20th century in part because government and central banks sought to insulate their economies from the worst effects of the natural booms and bursts of the business cycle. Since fiat money is not a scarce or fixed resource like gold, central banks have much greater control over its supply, which gives them the power to manage economic variables such as credit supply, liquidity, interest rates, and money velocity. For instance, the U.S. Federal Reserve has the dual mandate to keep unemployment and inflation low. Disadvantages The mortgage crisis of 2007 and subsequent financial meltdown, however, tempered the belief that central banks could necessarily prevent depressions or serious recessions by regulating the money supply of a currency tied to gold, for example, is generally more stable than fiat money because of the limited supply of gold. 
There are some opportunities for the creation of bubbles with fiat money due to its unlimited supply. Pros give central bank greater control over the economy, provides flexibility. Cons not a foolproof way to protect the economy. Opportunity for a bubble, risk of inflation. Example of fiat money gone wrong, hyperinflation. The African nation of Zimbabwe provided an example of the worst case scenario in the early 2000s. In response to serious economic problems, the country's central bank began to print money at a sta- staggering pace, resulting in hyperinflation. Experts suggest the currency lost 99.99% of its value during this time. Prices rose rapidly and consumers were forced to carry bags of money just to purchase basic staples at the height of the crisis. The Zimbabwe government was forced to issue a 100 trillion Zimbabwean dollar note. Eventually, foreign currencies were used more widely than the Zimbabwean dollar. Why is fiat money valuable? In contrast to commodity-based money like gold coins or paper bills redeemable, for precious metals fiat currencies backed entirely by the full faith and trust in the government that issued it. One reason this has merit in that governments demand that you pay taxes in that fiat money it issues since everybody needs to pay taxes or else face stiff penalties or prison. People will accept it in exchange. This is known as charitalism. Other theories of money such as credit theory suggest that since all money is a credit debt relation, it does not matter if money is backed by anything to maintain value. Why do modern economies favor fiat money? Prior to the 20th century, most countries utilize some sort of gold standard or backing up a commodity as international trade and finance grew in scale and scope. However, the limited amount of gold coming out of mines and in central bank walls could not keep up with the new value that was being created, causing serious disruptions to go global markets and commerce. Fiat monies gives governments greater flexibility to manage their own currencies, said monetary policy and stabilize global market. It also allows for fractional reserve banking, which lets commercial banks multiply the amount of money on hand to meet demand from borrowers. What are some alternatives to fiat money? Virtually every country today has legal tender that is fiat money while you can buy and sell gold and gold coins. These are rarely used in exchange or for everyday purchases and tend to be more of a collectible or speculative asset. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin have emerged over the past decade as a challenge to the inflationary nature of fiat currencies. But despite increased interest and adoption, these virtual assets do not seem to approach being money in the traditional sense. So this is it for today guys for fiat money. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.